It's Cody Shane watching Hot New Hip Hop and we lit that way. <laughs> Before I start actually taking music like seriously, I, I wanted to like be the first girl in the NBA. And then when I realized I couldn't do that, I was like, no, nah, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even trying to play basketball. If I can't be in the NBA, I'm trying to play with the dudes. So then I was like, all right, I'm gonna go act. And then I didn't want to do that no more. So then music, I kind of like just stuck with it. Well, my dad has like, I gotta count real quick. like six. On my dad's side is five, I think, and on my mom's side is five, including me. So that's four. So that's like nine. Born in Atlanta, and I'm not sure exactly how many years I lived there. Then I moved to Chicago. I feel like I was like three or four, maybe. And then I moved to Chicago, and then I moved back to Atlanta when I was like 13. Um, I wasn't a bad student. I would say I was bored. I would say, yeah, I was bored before I was just like, I'm bad and I'm destructive. And I was just like, dude, I'm bored. Let's go do, you know, let's do something else. But, um, yeah, I was homeschooled for 7th and 8th grade, and then I went to high school. I just like, um, like, I like 90s R&B. That's my thing. So I feel like that was my thing back then, too, and I still like it just as much, so, yeah. I pretty much grew up around music all my life. Um, my sister was in a group called Black um, when she was, like, around my age, a little younger than me. And they like went, a, a, went, they went across the whole world, and they did the whole tour thing. I went on the... Um, when I was like real small, I went on the fan mail tour, the TLC fan mail tour um, as a baby, and I was fire, I guess. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it was fire. Like if I can remember, I would be like, it was fire. But I know I was there, I got a few pictures from there. Uh, what else? Um, I, that, so I grew up around it, you know? So I always knew I would be some type of entertainer, like whether it was movies or it was music. I just didn't know exactly how to like approach it, but then I figured it out. Lobo, my first time, ever seeing him, like ever like being hot, hey bro, was at like Mean Street at the studio. And then after that, let me think. I met, I seen, I went to some show. I never, I always talk about this. I never know how I got to the show, but I went to some show um, at the Masquerade in Atlanta and he was performing. And once the show was kind of over, I saw Coach K like in the back and he was like, yo, I manage Yachty or whatever. It's my you gotta come meet him. So then I'm like, cool. So then he like, you know, introduced us at the show and I'm like, yo, what's up? We take a picture, it was just regular. So then after that, my producer Maddie and um, Coach know each other. So Coach and Maddie were talking and they were like, we gotta get Cody and Yachty in the studio together. You know, they gotta do something cool. And as soon as they said that, I was like, I want this man on set cause I just think it'll be fire, right? So, boom, we go to QC, and Yachty's there, and then I'm just playing sad, and he loves it, and he gets on it, and then we just actually made, like, a, we, like, linked, like, I mean, like, we had an actual connection, like, it was like, all right, we, we could be friends outside of this, like, we could go to the mall, or we can go eat and talk about other stuff, we don't always have to talk about music, so it's like, some people you don't really have a, you can't really get a real relationship with outside of the whole music bubble yeah March because that's when we met and then I, I text him like like just on some like trying to be cool like yo I just dropped my tape bro and he posted it and I was going nuts I was like ah y'all he posted the tape so then the tape went crazy and it was fire and then he tweeted sad I remember that like it was yesterday well I knew Maddie and I knew Maddie like really knew Maddie before I even was like think I knew Clax before I was doing music too but I really knew Maddie before like I even was doing music. Like I was just going to school being like lame or whatever. And he was working with my sister. She was doing her whole her whole solo thing. And um, so long story short, cut a long story short, blah blah blah, you know, they get it my, him and my mom in Clax, they get this production team, they get a studio. So it's like a really, really nice studio, right? So, you know, everybody's recording and stuff and I'm and then they have this I'm like, yo, I wanna I wanna be it. Rapper, I want to be. At first, I was like, I'm a rapper. You know, I used to make all these rap songs, <laughs> and it was all rap. It was like just rap, and it was like not ass, but I'm, I didn't mean to say ass, but it wasn't bad, but it was like bad. You know what I mean? It wasn't like bad, but it was just like yo, like <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> so I was like, y'all want to be a rapper, and they was just like, nah, you're not ready for it. You know what I'm saying? You 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 can't handle it. So they had this other girl group that was like so fire or whatever in Atlanta. <laughs> Right? That's me throwing tomatoes. But they had this whole girl group, and they're like, so I'm like writing for the girl group. I'm writing all these fire. I'm writing smashes for the girl group. It's like this really local girl group in Atlanta, right? So I'm writing all these smashes. They, they're putting out smashes, right? And they're going, they're going up. That's me writing them. So boom. Now, all of a sudden, I'm ready. 
I do sad. My mom didn't even really like it like that. She was all like, it's not, you know, it's cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Maddie was like, that's fire. So then me and Maddie just started recording all the time. And then after the song grew on it, my mom was like, this song is fine. Now she always want to say, you know, I always was trying to tell Maddie that you was the one I was doing all this for you. <laughs> That's all she wants to say now. No, but I believe it. I'll take it, you know. Maddie played this beat, and it was just like super like, ah. It was kind of like I wasn't taking it serious, to be honest, because that's not my type. I'm not like a super trendy pop con. You know what I'm saying? I'm, You know, so I wasn't taking it serious, but I was like, this beat is kind of fire. It's lit. So then me and Ryan, which is Saucy Long Way, my artist, we're over there like, ah, I got that drum on my woggy. Yeah, we're just playing or whatever. And he was like, record it. So then we recorded, and it became drip on my walk, ah, you know? But it wasn't like we about to make a song. And we're plotting on it. We wasn't plotting on it. It was just like fun. I like that, the whole future thing and the whole spacey thing. I just like it. So it's my thing right now. Super. Um, I've been kind of planning that for a while. Like the whole, I got my whole album. I got my album name ready and everything. <laughs> like I've had my album name ready forever. So it's like this whole thing. I plan to release an album, but I don't know when soon is. So I'm not going to say soon. But I do plan to release an album. I have the name and everything ready. Definitely want to work with Metro because he's fire. Um, I know Sunny Digital is doing his whole rap thing, but he's fire too. Mustard, Mustard on the beat, he's fire. That's he on my wish list right there. That's that's my boy. Um, but who, um, artist wise, this might be weird, but um, pull up with his stick, let it hit. You know that song, Shy Baby. I really want it, Shy Baby. I, yeah, yeah, the new guy. I want to, I want to work with that guy. I like that guy. He's cool to me. Because I listened to his other music and I was like, man, like he's actually good. Like I like that guy.